you know, I think it's absolutely strange that um, since 2000 and what? Let's see, 2000 and I guess you can say 12, which was Russell Wilson's rookie season, right? I think that was his rookie season. Um, we all know how successful the Seattle Seahawks have been. And I'll say around maybe 2016, 17, you slowly started to see them just turn to absolute dog shit, right? This past season has probably been the worst. I just think it's funny. And I and listen, I'm not a Seahawks fan. I don't really give a shit about Seattle. Um, I don't care about, you know, I mean, I like Russell Wilson as a, as a player. I like him as a football fan, but I don't really give a damn about him. He doesn't play for the Giants. I don't care, you know. Um, but, like, I think it's really odd that we saw how terrific that team was back in 2013 and 14 and 15 and whatnot. And you see them go through all these offensive coordinators and these defensive coordinators and you know you've seen them lose Richard Sherman and replace him with someone else you've seen them lose Earl Thomas you've seen them lose Cam Chancellor and now they just lost Bobby Wagner and Russell Wilson basically at the same time I think it's very odd that they're clearly in rebuild mode but yet they still have Pete Carroll somehow Pete Carroll ended up beating out all those motherfuckers we just I just named off. Quite I mean I just think it's very fucking strange that your offensive coordinator, multiple offensive coordinators gone, multiple defensive coordinators gone, Legion of Boom been gone. You, and now, probably the best linebacker in the NFL over the last 10 years, gone. Oh, and now you just lost your franchise quarterback. You just traded him. Now he's gone. But somehow, your old-ass fucking coach is still in charge. I I mean, I just, I don't get it. I, I will never get it.